Most of the people watching this video are probably already familiar with the Splatoon 2 YouTube community since they're watching a video by a Splatuber about Splatoobers, and so now I'm questioning why I'm making this video at this point, but you know what? Let's just jump right in. It's worth mentioning I'm talking about a specific part of the Splatoon YouTubers. I'm not going to be talking about Splatoon 2 Let's Players, Splatoon 2 Voice Actors, or Splatoon 2 SFM Creators, which I just found out was a thing like two days ago. So let's start off with Octoboy. If you take a look at this profile picture- wait, wait, no, no, that's the wrong channel, okay. If you take a look at Octoboy's videos, you'll see- wait, 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 no, ah. Uh, Octa, you need to make some original stuff. Okay, anyways, if you look at Octoboy's channel art- oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, don't tell me. Are you kidding me? I consider Octoboy to be the most successful Splatoon YouTube channel. Technically, Failboat and Skull have more subscribers than them, but most of their content isn't Splatoon related, whereas Octoboy's channel is 100% Spoon. He's known for having great editing, philosophical Twitter posts, and nice thumbnails that plenty of other YouTube channels are copying. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got Vantastic. Basically, he's taken boring gameplay and thrown a friggin' film degree at it. His videos of plots, characters, Bridget the Octoling has 7,000 followers on Twitter, what the heck? It's worth mentioning that Vian is also known for his music montages. Obviously, he didn't invent the idea of a montage, but he's definitely responsible for popularizing music montages in the Splatoon community. In fact, Splatoopers like Lunatic have dedicated their entire channels to music montages. Then there's GG Gabriel Gaming. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised he's gone as far as he's gone with memes. Then again, Minecraft Awesome Parodies has nearly half a million subscribers, so I've just stopped caring at this point. Gigi's content is actually pretty funny, even though most of it isn't his. Both Vian and Gigi are part of a group called The Last Laugh, which tried being a competitive team but then failed miserably. The other members of this group include J Moji and Etika. I first found Etika because of his rivalry with his arch nemesis Rockenberg, but it seems like Rockenberg has faded out of existence and Etika has become a pro Tetris player. As for Jmoji, he makes gameplay videos, and I'm gonna go ahead and predict that his channel's gonna die in December when they stop adding new weapons to Splatoon 2. Oh, also, if anyone here is French, go watch Evil Squid. That's literally all I can say about his channel. I always wonder why Wesley MK has so many subscribers, and then I remember the number of YouTubers that showcase glitches on Splatoon 2 maps. Just, just him. For those of you interested in competitive Splatoon 2, I recommend that SRB2 Dude's channel. I mean, really, this guy's a walking, talking Splatoon 2 encyclopedia. You can also look at Watson's channel, but I'm a bit confused in the direction he's going in. <laughs> Moving on, we got Vasco Games. He will educate you on all kinds of things that you've never really cared about. I would also consider Vasco the Justin Y of the Splatoon community. I can't go to any recently uploaded Splatoon vid without seeing his comment. Kind of the same thing with Mosh Plays. Go to the comments in this video like Bet you'll see Mosh there. Also, Mosh, how is this your most popular upload? Anyways, now on to Trinity RBG. Marina. Marina. Never mind, we are skipping his channel. In all seriousness, Trinity RBG's channel is completely rigged. I mean, look at the difference in views between these two videos. And this has happened several times. Splatoon 2 makes no sense, more like your channel makes no sense, Trinity. Anyways, have you ever been interested in watching an advertisement, not before your video, but as the video that you're watching? Then hop on over to Vic Villan's channel. Wow! Then there's Soraka Taco. His channel is really underrated, but his upload schedule is kinda... Moving on to K-Master Gaming Channel, who does a lot of 1v1s and funny moments and stuff, but... but why do you have to put the word channel in your channel name? It's implied that your YouTube channel is indeed a channel. This is completely redundant. And you too, Squirrel, like, why is this something that has to be addressed? Squirrel's a pretty nice YouTuber, though, and he does a lot of streams, so that's cool. Lastly, I'm gonna mention Super Squid Jump, since he's a YouTuber that recently got a huge boost in popularity, and has made his name in the Splatoon 2 community pretty much for making a video where he uh, hates on Splatoon. And that leaves us here. I bet that there are plenty of channels that I missed, but the ones that I covered are some of the ones that I know a good amount about. For all you viewers though, keep in mind that there are plenty of small YouTubers like the channel you're watching right now who may be making great content that you've never seen. There are ways to find these YouTubers, like through the Supporting Splatubers playlist, and so I suggest you all to strive to find some of these smaller channels and give them some support. And if anyone I mentioned in this video is interested in collab, hit us up on our Discord link in the description.